Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for ADSR. In today's video, we're going to be checking out a workflow tip and trick inside of Massive. So I recently found out that there is, in fact, a copy and paste feature inside of the synth, and that although it doesn't work how most of us would probably hope it works, like for instance, Silent has a very efficient copy and paste where you can copy in between sections of the synth, like your oscillators and filters and so forth. But Massive does have this ability, and it's cool for a couple of reasons. First, let's say you have a bunch of modulation inside three oscillators on a modulation-heavy synth. You can copy and paste that over to an initial preset if you want to have that same element of sound design in another preset. Now, same goes for a sound that might have two filters set up, and you're modulating with some decent, you know, LFO or envelope, and you want to kind of create a new preset or a preset based around that sound, but have more of a blank canvas than just tweaking your already made sound. We well, can use the copy and paste feature. So let's look at where it is. It's housed in the global section. And the cool thing is, and I didn't know this till recently, you can actually basically copy each of the four sections to kind of like a clipboard, I guess. So let's look at how this works. Right now I have a bass patch pulled up. All right, so it sounds like that. Now, if I go to my global tab and hit copy, 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 and copy on all four sections, I can now go to a uh, initialized preset here, and I can paste these in. The cool thing is it'll, it'll even follow the macros that I had. So if I hit paste right now, I just pasted my oscillators, and you can see these two macros highlight. So I know right, right off the bat that this is, I can just look at it and say, uh, os, you know, os2 for, for now, and this is... Uh, this six down here looks to be oscillator three, right? So now I have this sound, right? Uh, now let's let's paste in the filter. So the filter is blank right now. Paste it in. There it is with modulation. So I can see that this is a cut off and so forth. So it actually is pretty cool because let's say I just wanted to start from the sound. It sounds a little wonky. That's because I have an envelope modulating the pitch. So I need to take the decay of that down. But there it is. Really quickly, I have a sound forming. And I can go now back to my global tab. We will paste in the insert effects. And I can insert, I can paste in the actual master effects. And it's pretty cool because it gives you a blank canvas depending on how many things you copy and paste in to really tweak and manipulate. So this was a deep house patch uh, before I copy and paste it in. Now it's kind of has more of an electro tone to it. So it's kind of fun to play around with this on a few levels of creating new and different sounds from existing presets that you have. And then also just an efficiency thing. Let's say you have a intricate, you know, filter routing or a lot of things going on in your oscillators. You can just copy and paste those over. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.